It's the first thing you think about when you wake up and the last thing you think about when you go to sleep. It's just putting into practice all those things you've trained for years and years and years for. If you're going to be an elite athlete, like all of us trying to get to Rio, your sport has to be your number one priority. You get to a kind of an exhaustion point or where your mind is really controlling your body. So where's the line between consciousness or am I actually moving forward in the water? It feels like I'm swimming upstream and Vegemite and you just think, wow, okay, I'm really at the limit. And it's horrible at the time, but it's a great feeling afterwards to know that you've been able to push your body into that place. As a teenager, swimming was something that really equalised me along with my sighted friends because I was having to learn to do a lot of things in a different way. And swimming was one of the things that was quite constant. It's a bit tricky to get out by myself and without having to think, oh, there's cars or there's some other things. I can just get in a lane, follow the lane ropes and, and keep swimming. When you're an elite athlete, you want to be pushing your boundaries to the absolute limit because you know everyone in the world is going to be doing the same thing. All the HPCNZ staff, no matter what area they work in, they're all experienced with working with different athletes at different points in their careers. They're really sensitive and knowledgeable about how to approach athletes that are stressful situations and times when they're feeling so tired and demotivated. Essentially it comes down to your mind and body on the day. We all just have this 50 metres of water and it doesn't matter what our parents did, what languages we speak, it's just being human, working hard and that's what's going to get you to the other end of the pool. Make every day better than what you've done the day before. It doesn't matter if you're feeling 30% but just giving that 30%. You kind of look forward to those things that will bring pain essentially to training. To go to a second games and be in Rio and have an Olympic and Paralympic cycle happening in South America is, is something really special and when you can represent your country doing that it's, it's an exciting